The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 5th of September. We're looking at the Dow. A little bit weak today, down 83 at 40,897. It's got a lot of work to do. I want to see it get to the 41,250, 41,300 level by early next week. And that says, yep, now we can, then we can go back to that 41,585. I'm not sure just what's weak today that's dragging it lower. But in the meantime, that's what I'm anticipating, that it starts to push higher again. We're looking at the S&P, which is higher. S&P now is sharply higher. It is up 15 at 55.36. It needs to get to the 55.60s by Monday to be able to say, hey, it's going back to retest the highs. Looking at the QQQ, we're looking at the Qs as trading up three and a half. They're kind of lagging. It's a good day today, but it's really lagging. At 4.64, same as the SMHs, semiconductors. Look at that, semiconductors. Are up 2.52, not not great at all. IWM, the Russell 2000. <clears throat> we want to see that moving from the 213 area to the 216.70, 217 area within the next few days. That would be very important. Gold is having a very sharp move to the upside. It's up 15, was up more before, but it's in this rectangle formation. If it can pierce the high that was made in the continuous contract, of the 20, uh, 20th of August, and that was at 2578.4, that'll start a leg C, and that'll be very good, and that'll be a D in the weekly chart. Hmm, that'll be good. Let's go to the TLT, the TLT bonds, uh, unchanged, well, up nine cents at 99.08. Um, yeah, this is nice. It means yields are coming down. Let's go to the crude oil. CL is trading at... Um, 80, up 80 is up 92 cents at 70.10 on the continuous contract. It's broken key support. It's got a, it's going to struggle. The former support is now resistance in the 73s. Got to watch that closely. Good. Dow's now up 12. S&P up 21. Good session so far. The day is young. Check out my opening call daily newsletter, and you'll see why we added to our long positions in the Dow yesterday. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technician's Hour.